Hello everybody, it's Ryan aka Rydor the Banisher here with another video and in this video I am going to be going over my one bar bomber build with open soul. It's a simple bomb blade uh, build for beginners so let's get it. Let's get into it. The gear we are running is five piece robe of dark convergence which adds max magicka, penetration, weapon spell damage. Now they did nerf this set, but casting abilities that leave an effect on the ground will create an area that applies a 60% snare and pulls enemies after a one second delay, stunning them for one second. This is the part they nerfed. After four seconds, the area deals magic damage to all enemies in the 10 meter radius and up to 8,000 something magic damage to enemies within three meters of the center. So. I still really like this set because it will pull everything. It's a huge uh, CC stun. Uh, even if you're not just going in for a bomb, if you're trying to divert people or scare people away from a destination, in my opinion, Dark Convergence is still pretty good. So we're running five pieces of that. We're running chest, belt, boots, legs, and gloves, all divine's traits on that. And then we are running five piece vicious death, which is you know, weapon and spell damage, max magicka, crit, uh, offensive penetration. And when you kill a player, they violently explode for X amount of flame damage to all other enemies within five meter radius. This effect scales off the higher of your weapon and spell damage. Vicious death is still the best option for that big explosion burst at the end. And we are running uh, two-piece jewelry, necklace, and ring. Bloodthirsty on the traits for that. We are running a Vicious Death Lightning Staff, precise for the trait on that. And a decrease health enchantment. And then we are running uh, Shoulders Divines of Vicious Death. And then, of course, we are running our Oaken Soul Ring. I tested this without Oaken Soul and with Oaken Soul, and I just found it to be so much easier, especially for beginner bombers. Uh, I wanted to simplify the process, and even though Oaken Soul is getting nerfed with Necrom as far as the heavy attacking, all of the buffs that it still gives you are still super valuable. So I wanted to give it a shot, and it does work. And then for our extra slot, I am running a Balrogs mask divines on the head just for the extra spell damage now there are a lot of options you can use in place of dark convergence because like i said it's not it's not the best option anymore it's what i use because i like the pull but there are a lot of other good options in here you could run plague breaker you could run um clever alchemist you could run pretty much any other spot this this set is your flex set and if you don't have Oaken Soul, you can still run two Balrogs or any other sort of monster set. But this is the gear I had, and I wanted to test it out. And so next is our skills. Let's go to our skills bar. You only have the one bar, your Destro Staff bar. I am running Shadowy Disguise so that we can sneak around and be all sneaky. I run Sap Essence, and then I run Razor Caltrops. I use this skill to proc my dark convergence and it does stack the snare with dark convergence and it also applies major breach reducing your enemies physical and spell resistance by almost 6,000. so this is a good option for the proc and to add some major debuffs to your opponents and then we are also running uh, proxy detonation and then i run resolving vigor in this spot for the burst heal and also for the increased armor buff it gives me this could be your flex spot you could put anything you want here really everything else is kind of mandatory for the big bomb but vigor i you can put whatever you like here uh, for the ultimate i'm using soul tether i still like this ultimate because it's instant uh it does a lot of damage and it also heals you to keep you in that pocket spamming sap essence to get some more damage in you could also run the destro ultimate here if you chose 
Um, any ultimate that does high, high burst damage up front is really good. I prefer Soul Tether. Okay, so next, let's go over our stats. I put all of my attributes into Magicka. Uh, unbuffed, you're sitting around 4,800 uh, spell damage. Your crit is at almost 40%. Uh, you have very low health on this build. This build is a glass cannon, go in, blow up, die, respawn, do it over. It's nothing fancy. Um, if you're wanting to stick around and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with groups, this is not the build for that. This is go in, blow stuff up, either you blow it up or you fail, die, respawn, do it again. Uh, our magic recovery is very high. We're almost at 1,700 which helps us so that you can cloak almost indefinitely. I could cloak from my starting base in Daggerfall Covenant in Imperial City all the way to center. I can cloak the whole way and not run out of Magicka. So it's very, very high recovery, which is good. Uh, the Mundus Stone Boon we are running is the Apprentice. Uh, I'm running this to get the extra spell damage to bump up those tooltips on my ultimate and my proxy debt. Uh, for food, I am running Ghastly Eyeball, which increases our max Magicka by 45.92 and our Magicka recovery by 459. Potions, I'm using Essence of Immovability, the Magicka version, so restores Magicka health and becomes immune to knockback. Okay, champion points. So, champion points, the green tree, it doesn't really matter. I use Steed's Blessing for combat speed, Gifted Rider for mount speed, Treasure Hunter for item chest. Rationer is really the only one that helps you increase your food duration. This also stacks with your, uh, um, you know, your War Torch, your XP, whatever you have. But the green tree is not really too valuable. The blue tree, I'm using Wrathful Strikes, which gives us 205 spell damage. Fighting Finesse, which gives us 8% crit. Untamed Aggression, which gives us another 150 spell damage. And then Occult Overload, which when whenever you kill an enemy under the effect of a status effect, they violently explode for X amount of Oblivion damage per stage to all other enemies within 4 meters. So, this is another flex spot. You could put another damage one in here if you want. I wanted to test it out to see if it would just add to the bomb, to the explosion. Uh, in the Red Tree... I'm using Rejuvenation for all my recovery, Boundless Vitality to bump up my health a little bit because I am very low health, very squishy. Uh, Siphoning Spells restores 300 magic whenever you kill an enemy. And then Celerity for additional movement speed. Okay, so now to show you a quick rotation for this build of what I would do when I am bombing my opponents. Vigor, Cloak, Proxy, Potion, when Proxy's at 2, you're going to Caltrops, you're going to go in and blow up, and there we go. That is basically what the bomb would look like. So again, um, you're going to buff up with your Vigor and your Potion, and then the combo is Proxy, cloak towards your opponents, when Proxy's at 2, you're going to cast the Caltrops and your ultimate, and then you're just spamming sap essence and light attacks in between now being a bomber whether you're a nightblade necro whatever class you're on it is not easy and that's why i wanted to try and simplify the build and the rotation as much as possible um is this the best bomb uh build out there <laughs> absolutely not am i the best bomber out there absolutely not uh, I've just played Bomber enough to know that I really enjoy playing it. It's a rewarding play style. It's a challenging play style. But this is a very simple beginner build. And it'll take you some time. You have to have patience. You are going to have more missed bombs than you are successful bombs in the beginning. 60% uh, of the time it always works, right? So be patient and uh keep practicing it if you want to flex out some gear try your own stuff make it your own this is just what i used on my setup and it worked fairly well for me 
Um, but give it a shot. Oh god, he sees me. Ah, uh, help me babysit this. Fail. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, nailed it. Again, this is a simple bomb build. Um, I know there's a lot of really experienced bombers out there uh, that are talented and have been playing this style for many years. So if you are one of those people, uh, leave a comment down below sharing your knowledge, ideas, what else uh, players can do once they are introduced to bombing in this simple setup to advance their skills and that's what we're looking for on this channel sharing of knowledge uh sharing of information trying new stuff that you've never maybe tried before but you've always wanted to try and so that's what this channel is all about so i hope this helped you uh thank you for watching so much this is right or out